The pseudo planche push-up is a variation which emphasizes your shoulders. Leaning forwards is what makes this more challenging compared to normal push-ups. Expect your bent arm strength in the horizontal plane to get much better. Here's how to perfect your technique for pseudo planche push-ups. Set up with your feet against a wall. This method works well for pseudo planche push-ups because it allows the upper body to lean forward and sets a minimum intensity whereby you can't cheat. The level of difficulty changes based on where the hands are relative to the hips. The closer the hands are towards the waist, the exercise becomes harder and our shoulders get stronger. Let the scapula retract on the way down and protract on the way up. Just keep shoulder movement natural through range while maintaining proper body posture. Keep a hollow body technique with tension in your abs and glutes. The body should form a straight line when viewed from the side. Touch your torso to the ground with each rep. This sets consistent form standards, making technique reliable and repeatable. Lock the elbows straight at the top of your pseudo planche push-ups, as this encourages full range at the shoulders as well. Hands facing sideways is best practice for this exercise. Wrist strain is lower, which allows a pain-free forward lean. Measuring the distance from our hands to the wall helps us keep training objective. Using the wall lets us standardize intensity and keep ourselves accountable. We can't rely on ourselves to consistently increase intensity solely by leaning further forward without markers. The distance in centimeters from the wall is the calisthenics equivalent of recording the weight lifted at the gym. With a wall, there's less room for cheating progress becomes predictable and adjustments to intensity are more accurate. Once we reach a certain level of lean, the weight on our feet becomes so light that this exercise will feel similar in difficulty to planche push-ups with our feet off the ground. Common mistakes for pseudo planche push-ups include having the hips too high in the air. This happens when trying to lean further than your current strength level allows. Arching the lower back is a posture change done to decrease the lever and make the exercise easier on the shoulders. Training with outer wall makes us tempted to rock our body backwards. When randomly doing pseudo planche push-ups, we can trick ourselves into thinking that we're improving when in reality, we might just be leaning less forward. Excessive hollow body during pseudo planche push-ups limits range of motion at the shoulders and is an incorrect cue. Head to wall pseudo planche push-ups are a technique I no longer recommend. This sets a maximum limit to difficulty, meaning it can be too hard or too easy. Head to wall doesn't allow us to lean forward as we descend, which normally happens during pseudo planche push-ups. Lastly, head to wall makes cheating more likely because there's room to sway back and forth through range. Here's how we can modify our pseudo planche so that we can keep challenged and improving. There's plenty of room for progression with the basic pseudo planche push-up. Apply the principle of forward lean to choose a posture which suits your strength level. The further you can lean forward, the better. Keep in mind, the intensity rises dramatically with even a small increase in lean. Constantly monitor your form during a set of pseudo planche push-ups, tightening your core, leaning forward, and so on. If you experience wrist fatigue or have difficulty leaning forward when using flat palms, it's recommended to use a neutral grip. Deficit pseudo planche push-ups increase the range of motion. Ensure that both your hands and feet are elevated to the same height. With this setup, we stress the horizontal push-up pattern while achieving a deeper stretch. A modest deficit is all that's really need to build specific strength for more challenging calisthenics exercises. The floating pseudo planche push-up raises the difficulty. Strict form is built in. We have to tuck our elbows and lean forward enough to lift our legs off the ground. Pausing for one to three seconds with each rep accumulates productive time under tension. Expect the isometric holds at the bottom to strengthen your bent arm planche. Introducing a skill and balance component offers a novel challenge to your pseudo planche push-ups. Bring the legs together to progressively overload when you're ready. Pseudo planche push-ups benefit all calisthenics levels. They can be used as a primary exercise or as an accessory. Just change the intensity to work within lower or higher rep ranges. The scalability of the pseudo exercise means that with dedication, your shoulders will get savagely strong. 